Hey guys, Sigash is here. I'm continuing exploring the Russian towns and today I'm in the southern border of the Yaroslavl region, Pereslavl Zaleski, a city with a population of 37,000 people. Thousands of years ago it was the one of the largest cities in Russia before the Russia was united. Let's go and check out what this city is preparing for us. Pereslavl was founded about 1000 years ago by the prince of Yuri the Long Hands, Yuri Dolgoruki, and it was founded as the future capital of Rus, of Russia, and the same guy has founded Moscow also. And throughout the history, uh, Pereslavl was in different regions of Russia, Vladimir region, Ivanovo region, Moscow region, and now it's Yaroslavl region, and I'm especially proud that this is Yaroslavl region because I'm originally from Rybinsk, the part of this Yaroslavl oblast. Absolutely beautiful time to come to this town because it's sunny and it is an Indian summer. Look how beautiful are the trees changing the color of their leaves. Everything is beautiful today, yay! I'm on the territory of Goritsky Monastery. Monastery is not functioning as a church anymore, but as a museum and it is just so fantastic i've been just in the summer church and it looks so imperial so ah uh, i speechless to see how shades of the sun are playing on the walls and on the icons of this church and the entry to this museum is only 50 pence or 50 russian rubles apples now just everywhere because it's autumn and at the apple season you can go and pick anything you like if you come to Goritsky Museum, you just have to climb the wall because from there you can see the entire Pereslavl, including the countless detached wooden houses that represent the Russian village and the magnificent Plesheva Lake, where we're gonna go soon. And there is a trade is going on, three liters of cranberry juice. Pereslavl is just packed with history and all that kind of churches are going all along the city and the city is built on the hills. We're gonna go and see the oldest building in Pereslavl, made from the white stone, the oldest building in Pereslavl, dated as 900 years old. Spasa Preobrazhensky Cathedral is standing right in the city center and its architecture is so simple and unique at the same time. The interiors of the cathedral are quite simple. There are not any icons like in the uh, Orthodox churches, but this is rather a museum. The entry is 50 Russian rubles or half of the British pound. Now we are going on the hills. This is the handmade hills that are protected Pereslavl from the enemies. At its own time, Pereslavl was one of the largest cities all across Russia. It was even bigger than the Kiev, than Smolensk. It was the third largest city in Russia and it was more or less the same size as Vladimir. I've been there, check that look out. It's quite pleasing to walk on that hills. If you look at the symbol of Pereslavl, it's flag as well. There are two fishes. This fish is endemic and it's only uh, being lived in this region. It's salty fish and it was loved by the Tsars, people were catching the fish here and supplying it to the Tsar table. And the scale of fishing was so big that nowadays to catch this fish is extremely rare opportunity. This house is nothing really special except the multiple pigeons that are resting on the roof. I like when the urban space has been refurbished and made for the convenience of residents and visitors of the city and Pereslavl is a great example to it. Such a nice swing that keeps people entertained. And on the other side of the road there is a kids playground. Family can come and enjoy spending time with their kids. A perfect spot where you can sit on the sunny day and watch the main attraction of Pereslavl. Accidentally in the middle of nowhere next to the residential block you will see the beautiful church absolutely fantastic art object featured only in post ussr spaces made from the car tires another type of housing where people live 
pretty much cute too and there is no rush like in Moscow in London there is some kind of beauty in this style lots of detached houses are here you have your own house to yourself and then you can go in your own yard you can grow chicken or apple trees this is absolutely fantastic space when the entire house is equipped with the paintings that been taught in this school and look at this one just next to that art school i never seen such a beautiful building before the Sheva Ozera is quite a large water reservoir it's 50 square kilometers and for the long time it was the resort for the Russian Tsars who was coming here and Peter the first the famous Russian imperial he built up the flotilla here the military ships once this flotilla was built here Russia became one of the leading uh, sea countries in the world nowadays Plesheva Ozera is resort for people uh, who can entertain themselves subboats kayaking kite surfing everything is happening here and the water as deep as 25 meters in the middle of the lake absolutely stunning city Pereslavl Zaleski is located not far from Moscow 140 kilometers there is no rail station so you can drive here or you can get a coach it's a great stopover if you visit Yaroslavl region Yaroslavl Rostov here I'm finishing a video about that beautiful town with the provincial soul and with the history almost everywhere beautiful nature and I hope you guys enjoyed this video and if you do then please don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe to my channel I publish video twice a week and I publish a lot about Russia scroll up my channel you'll find something interesting and comment what you would like to see in the next video thanks for watching bye